It's Friday night and time for a cocktail. Tonight's cocktail is a classic daiquiri, first invented in 1898 in Cuba in the small town of Daiquiri near Santiago. It was introduced to the United States by Navy Admiral Lucas Johnson in 1909 and became a very popular drink, especially in the 20s and 30s. Uh, by the 1930s, you could order a daiquiri anywhere in the world, and they knew what, how to make it. Uh, some of famous daiquiri drinkers were Ernest Hemingway, who drank it double, and Marlene Dietrich, who drank it at the Savoy Bar in London. Also, in F. Scott Fitzgerald's famous book, This Side of Paradise, it was a drink of choice by the characters. The daiquiri is made with one and a half ounces of white rum, two lime, limes juiced, and one teaspoon of sugar. You place it into a cocktail shaker, shake it up, and pour it into a chilled glass. Um, it usually is uh, served without a garnish, but I added a lime to it, and I put a little sugar around the rim. So, time to taste it. Oh, cheers and happy Friday. Penso che un sogno così non ritorni mai più. Mi dipingevo le mani e la faccia di blu. Poi d'improvviso venivo dal vento rapito. Cominciamo a volare nel cielo infinito Volare Tonight we're going to be discussing a very famous uh, cologne for men a fragrance for men called Gucci Envy and it was created in um, 1998, and it was created uh, when, at the time when Tom Ford was running Gucci, and is considered one of his um, more famous uh, of uh, the perfumes and colognes that he produced at that time. Um, I don't know who the nose is, I couldn't find that, but it's suffice to know that Tom Ford was behind the creation of this, which makes it a little extra special. I got it uh, from a friend on Facebook, Fragrance Friends, uh, a really great guy, and um, I was looking everywhere for it, and it was going for three to four hundred dollars for a hundred ml, and he very graciously offered to sell it to me for the original price of around ninety dollars, and uh, so that's how I was able to get it, and we'll talk about pricing in a minute, but I do want you to take a look at the color. It's a beautiful and it kind of is a greenish yellow, kind of like the daiquiri. Um, so I wanted to read to you uh, what I first wrote about it when I first got it uh, and my feelings about it. And I, what I said was, uh, Envy by Gucci is an intense experience, like your first trip to Rome. Uh, it's like the Eternal City. It is layered beautifully with the smells of food and gardens and rich aromas and red Italian wines. Florence smells like... Um, Expensive warm leather. Venice smells like a crisp sea salt and grappa, but Rome is unique, and Envy takes me back to Rome every time. Um, the oriental ginger, incense, amber, and patchouli, along with the anise nut and nutmeg, give, give it a gourmand glamour. And the musk, cedar, wood, and cardamom bring in the feeling of the Bor Borghese gardens on a steamy Roman summer night. The color, did I mention the beautiful color of the juice? The color is arrestingly beautiful, like the new green of sycamore trees in the early spring along the Tiber. Um, I'm just swept away by this elegant and supremely Italian fragrance that is gorgeous as, as gorgeous as the men and women of Rome. Che bella città, che bella fragranza. So that's what I thought of it when I got it. Now um, my nose has changed a little and I'm not quite so blown away or excited by it. Um, but let's talk about the notes. The top notes are mandarin, coriander, pepper, rosewood, ginger, and lavender. The mid notes are carnation, sandalwood, jasmine, cedar, and rose. The base notes are leather, amber, patchouli, musk, vanilla, vetiver, incense, and tobacco. Now this, um, this fragrance is beautiful. And I do like it, 
but um, it's not, I don't think it's worth three to four hundred dollars. It's beautiful. The, 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 the most expressive notes that you get right off the bat are the mandarin and the ginger. And then in the center, I've got some here that I've been wearing for a while. In the center, we get uh, the rose and um, the other thing that pops out is the carnation. Uh, the rose and the carnation are really beautiful. And then in the dry down, the, the most predominant notes for me are the amber and the incense. And it really is a beautiful incense fragrance because that comes up from the bottom fairly early and blends in with the, the rose and, and the cedar and, and the patchouli and the carnation. And it, it really just kind of boosts all of that. Now, um, I, I just want to say that when something as beautiful as this goes off the market and it's discontinued, the, it, it, inevitably, especially if it's very popular like Gucci Envy is, inevitably the, the price skyrockets. And to me, that's a sin. I just think it's, it's ridiculous that we, uh, if you really want a fragrance uh, like this, that we allow it to happen. We, allow, we, we, we pay those prices for a fragrance that really is, is just an ordinary, beautiful, but ordinary designer fragrance. I can see paying that kind of a price for something a little more creative or um, uh, unique, but it just, it just frosts me that, that this kind of thing happens. And a beautiful fragrance like this becomes so exclusive and hard to get, and people like myself who are not rich have to shell out an, an, an inordinate amount of money for something like this. So that's the end of my rant on that. Anyway, uh, the longevity of this is really good. It's 8 to 10 hours. The sillage is pretty in the middle moderate. It's, a, it's sophisticated um, and draws people in rather than yells at them to come over, hey, look at me. It's not a hey, look at me fragrance at all. It's rather sensual and um, sexy, but not in an overt way. It, it has class, let's put it that way. Uh, I would say that it's best for evening and um, formal affairs, but you know me in the monkey wrench. I, I like to wear it, uh, uh, formal fragrances, uh, in a very informal sense, because I, I just get a kick out of just mixing that up. Um, so final th thoughts about this fragrance. It's beautiful. It's elegant. It's full of taste and chic and just a really great gentleman's uh, fragrance. But it's not worth $300. It just isn't. So this is Lanier Smith from Sense Memory saying, Remember, wear what you love, but not what they say you should like. Cheers. Oops, almost lost it there. <laughs>